sacrifice children at the altars of acceptance, the altars of sports, the altars of self-expression, the altars of the abortionist knife. I'll read something to you. This, I, I got this out of this morning. This is real-time figures. According to the number of abortions in the U.S. since 1973, since Roe versus Wade, as of 10.30 this morning, 59,952,261,000 babies have been slaughtered. And you think it was bad because they sacrificed kids in the temple? By Planned Parenthood, abortion since 1970, 7,901,892 by a government-funded organization. Your taxpayers' dollars is paying for it. You hear that? By Planned Parenthood this year, over 300,000 babies have been slaughtered. The United States this year alone, till 1030 this morning, 850,266 or 850,266 babies have been killed. U.S. this year after a 16-week gestation, 41,000 has been killed. Worldwide since 1980, 1,476,116,380 babies have been slaughtered. Worldwide this year, 36,349,308 babies this year have been slaughtered at the altar of the abortion knife and state-funded programs. Judgment is coming. Get ready. You may not like it. You may not have participated in it. But baby, if you voted Democrat, you may not like it, but you have. That's their platform. They say it's okay to kill babies. Get mad at me. But somebody's got to stand up for little kids and little children. Somebody's got to stand up for the unborn. Worldwide today, as of this date, whatever the date is, 49,000 today, since you got up this morning till 1030 this morning, 49,668 babies died since you got up this morning. That's worldwide. But let's just get to the United States at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. From the time you got up this morning, 20,600 babies on a Sunday have been sacrificed already. Why is there a difference after the 16-week gestation abortion counter? Why Why did I tell you that 41,000 of them, would you bring that baby to me? 41,000 of them. Why? Because that's after 16 weeks that the seed has been planted in the womb. Hey, they can still kill that baby. Now we've got a law. Even while the baby is being partially birthed, its little brains can be sucked out of its head. I want to tell you about a 16-week seed. I want you to look at this baby. Get close to me, Mama. I want you to look at this baby. I want you to hear me. At 16 weeks, the body is full fully formed. It has its little fingers. It has its little toes on its feet. 
at 16 weeks. It has everything there. It has fingerprints. It has nails. It has fingernails. It's about five inches long. It weighs about three ounces, about the size of a large avocado. The baby is moving about. It may, it may gasp with the umbilical cord. It will suck its thumb. It is capable of making facial expression and kicking inside of the womb. The heart and circulatory system and the urinary tract are fully functioning at 16 weeks of age and the blood is already pumping through its little body into its tiny veins. The baby is both inhaling and it is exhaling. The fluid through its lungs is being pushed out. The eyelids are in proper position of the baby. The baby can look straight ahead. It can blink and move her eyelids at 16 weeks. The gentles have formed in the case of the girl. The uterus has already developed and the ovaries are in, popper, are in the popular place. And I've come to tell you, the United States is about to be judged. I'm here to tell you because we've allowed it. The church must repent. We must stand up and say, God, I'm sorry for ever casting a vote that opened the door for this to happen. I'm sorry for ever giving a nickel and a dime to a political campaign that made it happen. And it's time we go to Washington, we go to Tallahassee, and we tell them enough is enough. We're standing against the abortionists. We're standing against their right. Baby, sir, ma'am, you made that decision when you crawled in bed for five minutes of sex and a baby was consumed and a baby was born. You made your decision. Now, let the house of God make its decision. We will stand against it. We will preach against it. We will fight against it. It stopped. It stopped. It must stop. Judgment is coming. We must stop it. And we must stop it now. And we must stop it now you say pastor I'm had an abortion honey get it under the blood ask God to forgive you he will live your life let God do what he wants to do to you and for you but judgment is coming 